Time now, 7.33. The work of some of New Mexico's most talented photographers will now be on display in a new show happening at Expo New Mexico. But all of their prints are in black and white, and this goes with the name of the show, Shades of Grey. News 13's David Romero is live at the Fine Arts Building with a look. Good morning, David. Hey, good morning, Kristen, Crystal, Adam, everybody sitting at home. Okay, folks, you know, you're looking for something to do now for the holidays, and what perfect timing that this show is coinciding with, with that. Shades of Grey over here at the Fine Arts Building at Expo New Mexico, so easy to get to, and so enticing to pull you into it this morning. We're going to show you what it's all about, tell you what it's all about. Mr. Leroy Perea is with us this morning. Good morning, Leroy. How are you doing? Uh, good morning to you. How are you doing? Great, and great to be with you, and we want you to tell the folks out there, just, I mean, you're going to see it here in some video in a moment, but what makes black and white photography so captivating and beautiful? Well, you know, when people can't see in black and white, so uh, it's a little di it's much, much different than seeing in color. Uh, so the black and white, uh, especially when you print things uh, like you're seeing here with the beautiful tonal quality that they we're getting, people can't see that either unless you're looking at a photograph. So for me, it's very um, abstract, if you will. Uh, even though you could recognize uh, what it is in black and white, it still looks very different. And, and if you do it correctly in film, it looks very, very beautiful. It, and I, it truly does. And I mean, you're seeing that in, on the screen right now. Okay, now, folks, when you're looking at that, you've got to realize something about the photographers that make up this, pro, this show. Who are they? These are all New Mexico artists only. We do not import. Um, we send out uh, uh, notices to everybody if they'd like to enter. Uh, they're allowed three entries per person. Uh, it's a juried show, so our judges go through and they pick out the top uh, 225 images, and those are the ones that are hanging. And, and primarily made up of amateurs, right? Yes, um, 90, 95 percent of the people in the show are just very passionate amateurs. Uh, no professionals, uh, or very few professionals are actually here. And so that makes it even more fun. Uh, there's no commercial uh, photography in here. And room after room here, folks. I mean, there's just no shortage of, I mean, you want to make sure to devote some good time to coming down here because when you do that, you're going to want to take your time and look through each photo. And, uh, of course, the, uh, anybody coming out here to see the show is going to have ample time to do that, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we're here from 10 to 5 every day except uh, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and they're welcome to come out and spend as much time as they would. Um, I think you mentioned that uh, it's a great place to bring their families and friends for Christmas. This is, uh, they can come running around in here for an hour or two and en enjoy it. It's, it's a free admission. Free admission, folks, and, okay, here's another incentive. You can actually own one of these prints, correct? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Everything on the wall is for sale, and um, these make incredible Christmas gifts. It's not something that you're going to throw away after six months. <laughs> exactly. this, is, this is something that gets passed on from generation to generation. Exactly, and, and who doesn't love good uh, quality artwork in their homes? And that's, again, supporting New Mexico, as we love to talk about here on this morning program. So, guys, stick around, because next hour we're going to have a whole lot more. We're going to show you a whole lot more, and, again, folks, um, you know, this is the work of folks from right here in New Mexico. So a great thing to come out and support and enjoy, you know, when you want to take that holiday stroll. Here's another place to do it. There back you to you guys. All right. Thanks so much, David. Stay tuned for more from the Shades of Grey show. And they go back up live to David around 830. Uh, reminder, you can see it in person uh, by the through the end of the month. Still to come this early hour, find out how you That's right. Well, a picture can say a thousand words, even if it's not in color. Some of New Mexico's best amateur photographers have assembled their best black and white photos for a new juried show opening at Expo New Mexico. Yeah, it's going through the month of December. News 13's David Romero is live at their Fine Arts Building with details. David? Hey, good morning, everybody. Guys, right here, Fine Arts Building, as they said, Expo New Mexico is where it's happening through the month of December. You've got some time, but, you know, make sure you can use as much time as you can between now and then to come and check the show out as often as you can. Shades of Grey is what it's called over here. Mr. Leroy Perea is with us this morning talking about it. Good morning, Leroy. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. And you know what? Just like I said, in the last hour that we've had some wonderful conversation over here talking about what, you know, makes a great show, what makes a great photograph and what people are going to see here. So even just the name of the show, Shades of Grey, what's the best explanation behind that? <laughs> well, long before uh, the book, the movie that came out that has nothing to do with photography, yeah. um, uh, people like Ansel Adams used uh, the term Shades of Grey uh, to express what the actual tonal quality is in a black and white image. And so we use that term for a very long time. It kind of uh, died out a little bit until the movie came out. Uh, but I, it's kind of unfortunate that it'd be tied to that because it's Shades of Grey really makes uh, all the sense uh, to black and white when you look at it and think about it. 
Exactly, and, and with some of the prints in here, I mean, you can see where the, the photographer behind it, you know, in, in processing the photo, how, you know, they determine what would look best or make the photo look best, you know, with a little bit more gray to it, a little bit more deep, you know, hard blacks, hard whites, and that's kind of really just the whole composition of, of what makes a great photo, right? Absolutely, and uh, in this case, what makes a great show is all the great people that bring their incredible work to a, a gallery like this. We have an incredible building. We we're using the Fine Arts Building at Expo, and it is probably the best lit uh, facility anywhere in the state for photography. Uh, if you look around, uh, the lighting is just impeccable. Exactly, and those photos that you're seeing on the screen right now, guys, the artists, the, fo the photographers behind them, amateurs. The majority of them, amateurs. And that's what's great about that is that, you know, we have a lot of great artists and, here in New Mexico and photographers. Be, and, you know, you see their work. And, I mean, this is something that's really just genuine because, you know, they, this is their first, sometimes their first uh, foray into to, to photography, right? Absolutely. And I think uh, I mentioned, maybe I didn't, uh, that the, um, uh, we were so impressed with the, or actually surprised, with the amount of entries that we got. Um, we received well over 400 entries, and that's incredible for an inaugural show like this. Uh, so I, I think that um, black and white is alive and thriving. Great, and yeah, exactly. And you know what, guys? That's what's really cool about this. This is the first year that this is happening. So you coming out and supporting it is going to make it come back year after year. And for being the first of its kind, I mean, this is really chocked full of just room after room of great photos. And uh, so, okay, let's look forward to next year. What are we thinking down the road, Leroy? Ah, uh, this was kind of a surprise. So uh, I do have plans to do this again for sure. Uh, when, I'm not exactly sure, but um, uh, this could be an annual show. Uh, it wasn't meant to be, but uh, it sure could be now. I, I really was surprised with the amount of uh, turnout and the amount of people that were, uh, are interested in coming to see it. There you go. We, you heard it here first, folks. We're just going to you know, twist Leroy's arm and everybody else to <laughs> kind of make it, make it happen holiday season because if you're looking for something to do you can actually own one of these at the same time so you're going to support local and check out local and that's what it's all about folks i'm going to send it back to you guys all right thanks so much david love that idea again this is going on through the 27th of this month from 10 to 5 however they're going to be closed on christmas eve and christmas day remember admission is free good deal perfect we'll move on to the